Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. away from water just know that there is something in the water there is a say that when you see a frog running away from water just know that there's something wrong in the waters I don't usually come up uh, to talk uh, you know around this time I usually talk in the evening and I'll talk in the evening but there is information that I've just received just now and you know me i don't just uh, stand up and uh, you know put up a camera before me and start talking i usually talk at awkward hours when there is something that has just happened right now i've just received information that upnd from state house eh, from state house they have released money so that uh, they can organize buses and uh, uh, thugs, you know, or if you like, UPND cadres, but they are not even UPND cadres because these are hired people. So, they have released this money so that they can get buses, they can get these people <coughs> and make sure that they go at uh, the Concord. Tomorrow, President Edgar Chagwalu is supposed to be at the Concord because there's supposed to be a ruling tomorrow. There's supposed to be a ruling tomorrow. On the preliminary, the preliminary is that um, uh, you know this this person that has sued that has sued ECZ that uh, they were wrong to allow Edgar Lungu to contest elections in 2021, and uh, the lawyers to Edgar Lungu raised a preliminary to say this matter has already been adjudicated upon five times before and Edgar Lungu is eligible to contest an election. This is a preliminary that is that they have brought but now the, the court is supposed to, to rule tomorrow and there is pressure on the judges that they should throw away that preliminary so that the case should continue and when it continues in uh, uh, when it continues just before the elections they will come and rule to say Edgar Lungu is not qualified he cannot stand and that's how they will they will disqualify or bar Edgar Lungu from contesting now so this is supposed to happen tomorrow this is supposed to happen tomorrow last time Edgar Lungu was at the conference a lot of people were there and what happened really, last time UPND organized people, they organized the UNSA students to come and boo Edgar Lungu. They organized the UNSA students to come and boo Edgar Lungu last time. This time around, but anyway, what happened was that when those, those students came, instead of booing Edgar Lungu, they actually chanted for Edgar Lungu. And as well as other people that came in, they, wanted, they started chanting for Edgar Lungu. So this time around, they have released money not to bring in the students from UNSA. They have gone to, um, what is this place, Kanyama. They have, gone, they have gone to Kanyama, they have gone to Chivolia, they have gone to, uh, what is this other place, uh, Chipata Compound. They are right now, right now as I'm talking, they are mobilizing people, they are mobilizing buses to go to, uh, the Concord tomorrow when Edgar Lungu will be there. 
because they were imbalanced last time. Now they have brought people from the compound to come and attack Edgar Lungu at the Concord. Meanwhile, I have heard that the, the, the police have said there, will be, there should be no cadres. They sent message, they sent word to Edgar, to Edgar Lungu's camp, Kuriba PF, to say there should be no cadres. But on one side, the UPND are busy organizing cadres as we speak. Now, just look at this. On one side, the police are saying, they're telling the PF, no, don't bring cadres. Don't bring cadres. But by UPND, as I'm talking, they are mobilizing themselves. Money has been released from state house to make sure that those cutters they go there, especially that the judges are going to go against it. So they want to make sure that they frustrate all by UPA, all OPF members who may want to express displeasure at the ruling. So this is what is happening now. I am not coming here just for nothing. I am coming here to deliver basically two points, two points, only two points. Number one is that, you know, Zambia is a democracy. Zambia has rules. So we should not allow by UPND to do as they please, to take Zambia as a ranch. Honestly, eh? how, how long are we going to allow these people to do as they please in our country? As if, as if by UPND. Eh? Mwakanya banenu wa PF noe, but no, don't come, don't bring cadres there. Meanwhile, by, by UPND they are organizing cadres. Why are they organizing cadres? Why have they released so much money to, to bring cadres to, 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 to the court? So, my first point is, imwe waka pokola. This is your responsibility. Waka pokola, you don't just belong to the haka inde eh? You are, you are the police state. You are supposed to protect everyone. You're supposed to protect everyone. So tomorrow you have a responsibility to protect Edgar Chagwalung. That is number one. You have a responsibility to protect Edgar Chagwalung. If something happens tomorrow to Edgar Chagwalung, you will be in problems. Eh? I mean, you will be risking the country, basically. You will be risking the country. At the moment, Edgar Lungu is not somebody that you can be organizing thugs to go and attack. He's not. The man is enjoying, you know, so much popularity. He's enjoying so much popularity. So how do you go there and, you know, how do you think of attacking him at the Concord? How do you think of doing that? Meanwhile, you're pushing judges that, you know, you should rule against him. That is so, Baka Pokola. I've said it. I've said it here so that I am on record. If tomorrow something happens, I want to be on record as one person that did inform you to say, can you make sure that you protect it, Galungu? And you know this, you know this, you know, you have this information, this information I have, it is not only me who has it. I am farther, I am miles and miles away from my country. And yet I have this information. What about you who are on the ground? You have this information. You have this information. But the problem is, you are too scared of by, 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 by UPND. This, remember what happened at the, at the, at the Anti-Corruption Commission? You can't tell me that if there you didn't have information. Because even that last time, when Ed Galungo was being insulted, when Ed Galungo was being attacked together with the family, but by a eh, per DEC, eh, per DEC, you had information that the UPND cadres were organizing to come and attack. And they did, and you did nothing. They came, and you did nothing. The same thing is about to happen tomorrow. Number, the second point, I mean, what is wrong with you, BAPF? What is wrong with you? Are you so finished by you, BAPF, that it's such that, you know, you can allow some of these things to be happening just like that? Are you going to just watch Edgar Lungo being treated like a nobody? Eh? You saw what happened per day, and you want to, the same thing to happen tomorrow. I mean, sometimes you can organize better. Um, at sometimes you can organize better. Surely, frankly speaking, by PF, you can organize better. You have got some security guys. Organize some security guys. I am not saying go and fight whoever. No, me, I'm simply saying you have got a responsibility because Baka Pokola, you saw what happened, Padek. Baka Pokola, 
they don't they don't they, they, they are not there to save Ted Galungu. If anything, they are against Ted Galungu. Because the people on top, not really Balaba Pansha, but Balaba Pamuru, Balaba Tuma, everybody against Ted Galungu. So, Baba PF, Ukwa Linso Ketakwa Fuiremuntu, Ukwa Linso Ketakwa Fuiremuntu, Inanami Papata, Nami Papata, make sure tomorrow you protect Ed Galungu. Tomorrow you protect Ed Galungu, protect him. And it is for the good of the country. I mean, I'm not saying do anything, whatever. No. All you have to do is that at least make sure you are there to protect Edgar Lung. No. I mean, and, 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 and for sure, if by UPND, Finder and okay, because some people are saying, Fiawufi, Fiawufi, okay. If by UPND, I mean, then definitely it will, be, it will be peaceful. But if by UPND bring their cadres, then it will be something else. Are you going to say Nichiru Fatari Walenga? No. No. What you have to do is to make sure you never learn Kaniba by UPND. You stay put. This is not your president. When your president was being called police, whatever, whatever, you used to go there and escort, escort him. You used to go there and escort him and cause confusion. But this time around, it is not your president who has been called. It is Edgar Lungu. So you don't need to go there. Naimova PF. You don't have to let Ed Galungu to be so exposed, like what happened at Dek. Make sure you protect him. Na mieva, na mieva. Protect your president. Zambia. Protect your democracy. Protect your democracy. You can't allow UPND to be doing whatever they want at any time. No, come on, this is too much. This is too much. Protect Ed Galungu. To the judges, to the judges, I know some judges are still, you know, not okay. And they are saying, if those other judges don't agree, they should not deliver judgment. So, because some judges are reluctant, you might see a possibility whereby they might not deliver the ruling tomorrow. Because the instruction is that no, they should throw out the, 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 the preliminary. But other judges who have got reason, because there are still judges who have got reason, they are saying, this is not right. We already ruled on this. Why should we go back? And because of that stalemate, you might see a possibility where they might not rule. They might not rule on the preliminary. Otherwise, the situation is tense. But on the issue of protecting Edgar Lungu, Nami Papata, or PF, Nami Papata, Zambian, Zambian people, actually, not even just PF. It is Zambians. It is Zambians, Zambians. Please, let's defend our democracy. Let's defend our democracy. No, it's not right. It's not right. Anyway, that is the information I've given you. But for 20 hours, we'll be talking at 20 hours. 20 hours, I'm coming back. I'm coming back. I'm going to talk. I'll be live at 20 hours. I'll be live at 20 hours. And the number that you should call is if you want to say something about whatever we'll be discussing. A number of you have been asking for the number. Now I'll post the number so that I'll post the number before 20 hours so that you, you can you can we can all participate. Let us not allow UPND to treat us like you know we, we, we are not human beings. Come on, we have suffered enough. Even being here, this is suffering because of UPND, because of Akinde H the Makwen of Shua Mwevan. Awe, awe. I mean there is a there is a how far some people can go. This how far the people can go. James at back. I mean, I, I would come, I'm telling you. I would come. Just that Nibakapokola, if it was not Bakapokola, I would handle UPND by myself. But PF by the Rokba Chitan, the inner would hand over PF by UPND. I would handle them. Nibakapokola, Ebom Chimpira Munimo Bangwele. You are useless. Without Bakapokola, you can't do anything. Otherwise, Munibacha Vechai. But anyway, let me not miss the point. Bakapokola, you have a responsibility. You have a responsibility. But you, but, but, but PF, don't let Edgar Lungu be treated the way he was treated by deck tomorrow. You have heard the message. Make sure you protect our president. Zambians, rise up and defend dem uh, our democracy. Nayanch Tegofim. Bye for now. This is DJ Mutati exclusive. Alright, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutati Mpondum. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.
Audio Jungle.